then they pull out her social media and then like it's rated like one through five stars and shit. Yeah, yeah. sorry, you're not. 4.2? Ew. Like, have Get you, out of my face. Like, have you guys seen that uh, video? It's like a, it's a prank, I guess, kind of, where it's an app that this guy sets up where it, it makes it look like you're on IG Live and you have like a hundred thousands of people watching. Oh. And then they go up to the club bouncer and be like, hey, I'll give you guys a shout out if you guys let me in. And then oh, they're like, oh, let me see. Shit. And they see and they see like the fake numbers. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, fuck it then, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we should try that shit. Huh. Yeah. Let me eat for free, bro. <laughs> Shout out, Philly. We should try that shit, actually. You know? Yeah. But I think, unfortunately, for something like that to work, I feel like it, you'd have to hit, like, a family-owned business, no? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that on the chain. Cheese, cheesecake Factory ain't gonna give a fuck. Like, unless, right, like, the right. manager already knows who you are. Yeah. But if you hit, like, Doña Lupe's, like, fucking burrito shop, and be like, hey, look, Doña you know? <laughs> It's a little more fucked up though, because yeah. you have to hit the family owned. And you dead ass line. Hundred <laughs> K look. <laughs> and nowadays that's what business businesses like that like live for shit like that. For like to blow up on TikTok. Like, bro, if you can make my little burrito shop blow up on TikTok, please. You know? Yeah. Unlimited burritos forever. It's like convenient for them, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, that, well, and then it's the wave. Did we come to tell the truth today, boys? Hopefully, no or, facts, but the truth. Or are you guys gonna cap all episode? No, I. We always tell the truth here. We yeah. know the truth. No, no just kidding. No. Well, tr- truth, no we, facts. Did you guys know who that was? Sounds familiar. I can't. Oh my god! It sounds like Diddy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly who it was. Uh, you wouldn't know what that guy sounds like. <laughs> How do you guys not know Diddy's vocal? Uh, well, it sounded familiar. I didn't say. Sanjay, <laughs> you know you're my favorite. I would have played a way better Diddy song than that. So no wonder you said he was coming. No Diddy, yo. <laughs> well, they got him. What you wanted, huh? Dude, they're coming at him left and right. But hey, pause. <laughs> hey, yo, no, Diddy. Wait, they haven't got him, though, yet. He's still... No, they got him. They got him already? Yeah. Like, he's locked up? I don't know if no, they locked him up. No, 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 no. No facts, first of all. There is no facts, but... So the last time we shot, we left the studio, and then I think almost, like, that day or immediately after... They had his whole kids in, in handcuffs and shit? Homeland Security comes through... Raids all three of P. Diddy's houses. They uh, put his kids in handcuffs. They seize documents, tapes. Apparently, they came came knocking. Apparently, they knew exactly what they were looking for. Okay. Diddy's also kind of smart. Like, because. I know that he has more than three houses, and I'm sure that the three that they raided aren't the ones that he keeps that type of shit that they're looking for. And one of the biggest conspiracies is that, like, they're not even raiding his house for him. They're raiding it for, like, uh, like higher people that may be involved. Oh, okay. You know, that's the conspiracy. Involved in what? I need a little bit of like information. It, There's it, some people like, don't he's being accused. He's being accused of obviously like blackmailing for like videotaping people doing shit for shit. He's being accused of fucking sex trafficking. Yeah, so P. Diddy would apparently have these parties and they would call them freak offs where he would invite like celebrities, politicians, and they would all come to his house and he was on that Jeffrey Epstein type shit. Like little cameras in the walls type yeah. shit. Like cameras in the charger type shit, you know. Mm. He he even had like a whole like <laughs> real spice, like shit. pink cocaine at parties. Like that was. Going I've heard crazy. of pink cocaine before though. It was called like tussy and shit. Now tussy slide might mean something else if we think about it. Oh, mm. it might. Yeah, but it's insane, bro. Like I was saying, I think that is kind of smart because obviously those aren't his only homes and he has three jets and all three of them were going to three different places at the same time where they were really? raiding his house I don't yeah. think I heard that yeah so one so was, he had three houses and he had three jets yeah they weren't raiding the jets but I think he was like cause I only heard about one jet are you sure yeah there was one that had like uh, what's his like his chicks like the chick that academics goes at young is it Mi- young Miami one of those oh, I, don't know, I don't know city but girls I know who you're talking about yeah. yeah one of the city girls yeah one of them had them in it and his daughters in it the other one was supposed to be heading somewhere else 
And the third one was the one that he was supposed to be in, but then they just got him like walking. You guys seen the video of him just walking back yeah. and forth at the the. Mm-hmm. That was him. That plane was supposed to take off to like a a fucking country that was like no extradition type shit, but he didn't take off. He was just like they just caught him like back and forth walking. Oh okay. yeah, it's so st- stressing now. You know, imagine there's like pictures of your kids in handcuffs. Which, I, I don't think that's what. what no, 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 no. But I'm just saying. Imagine being Diddy and you ha- you see your kids like on in handcuffs. By the way, some of those guys should not be living with his fucking dad. They're like 30 living with his pops. But if my dad is pre Diddy, I'm living there for sure. <laughs> Imagine how many bitches are coming over. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I heard they're going after J Lo now too. J Lo? Wait, slow down. Slow down. We're not done. Did I premature there? Yeah. yeah. Oops. Well, a little premature oops, ejaculation again. Okay. <laughs> not, not just J Lo, a bunch of people. They're coming after a bunch of people so, after so that situation. Well, that's what they're saying that this was uh they're saying that they quote unquote they they're saying that they're like they raided it so that they could get rid of like the evidence that the regular regular police would come and like or have potential to be bribed, you know? So they said that's why Homeland Security came in, jacked all the shit, or took all the evidence, because, like, um, some people were speculating that this is, like, a slap on the wrist for P. Diddy, like, hey, this is, you're not us, you know? You can't hang with us. This is a little slap on the wrist, like, hey, bro, you better behave, you know, we got you. Because, like, he's not arrested, so they raided his whole house for everything and all three of his houses, but he's not arrested. Like, but what? That's that throws me off. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of, it gives me like Donald Trump vibes. Where like, who's who's gonna arrest the billionaire? Like, the guy has enough money to be free for now. You know, you know how D- Donald Trump was supposed to be arrested and he was allowed to just walk in and take his mic shot how he wanted and kind of pretty much bounce and shit. I feel like, like you said, it's a slap in the wrist for sure, especially for Diddy. I'm not, I'm not putting P. Diddy on presidential status, but I get what you're saying. Well, he's a. I'm not. I don't really mean the presidential status. I, I, I guess I equivalent that to like the billion dollars that Diddy's worth. And when you're worth a billion dollars, like, if it's not murder, I'm pretty sure you could get away with it. <laughs> like, probably. Not, and even well, that, murder. That's you why know? he's not in jail because. The money, yeah, and he started. He sold his his stakes at Revolt like that same day. Everything's like he he knows everything's coming down. Something on big is coming towards Diddy's way for sure. And what do they say? They say what like you know when the feds are coming? Like yeah, someone had definitely tipped him off if like his fucking jet. Because they also said another speculation was that he had all that shit in one of the jets, right? Yeah. Did, did you say that? Well, and that shit flew to that one place where there's no U.S. jurisdiction there. What is it? What, what place? I don't know what it's called, but Bali. It could be Bali. I, don't I, know, I could be wrong. It's one of Anyways. those places, but say it. It's not. It's not Cuba. No, no, no. no, no. no. <sighs> yeah. Bali? So they're saying that Bali. Pe- Bali maybe? So, so there's. I just said that. So there's pretty much they're saying that this fool was pretty much getting drugging people. Sexually assaulting people, blackmailing people, and now all these old videos are surfacing of like all the celebrities that have hung out with him and shit like that. And that's why people were like, "Yo, what the fuck? How come like this is a very big fucking moment in in like in culture, right? Yeah, where no, they don't just raid anyone. Like especially someone out of hip hop, they don't raid anyone's house. Like if they did that to Lil Wayne or if they did that to like Kanye, it would be like a big thing. It happened to P Diddy, and everyone's quiet." So it's like well, well, I, don't think anyone, co- I don't think it, Like everyone's quiet I, I think Everyone's like Aware of what's going on well, Like the it's thing on is, the news It's on Yeah but in the world Where everyone has Something to say No one is touching it Oh okay That's what I'm saying Yeah people are staying quiet Okay I get you that's The what thing I'm is also Is like with Diddy Everyone's already Had those speculations With him like You've already Everyone's already heard A story of Diddy Could have been Like could have been Smashing foods Oh don't go to Don't go to like uh, Oh The Bahamas or What was that Don't go here with Diddy Oh don't go to Miami With Diddy Oh yeah Don't go to Miami with Like Diddy. the reason why No one's uh, speaking out And talking about it Is probably because Diddy has some blackmail On them Well that's what he said That's right? what they're saying Like that's Those why hidden cameras quiet. It's like Oh, I'm gonna just record you doing something humiliating, like me. Either you're sucking me off, I'm sucking you off, like me fucking you in the ass, or vice versa. You know, like that's don't, don't stir up the brothers now. <laughs> like that's that's the type of videos I'm imagining. Yeah, like and the people, the people that are coming out and like like trying to sue him and shit, like 
There's people that I do feel bad. Like, if you were underage and he took, like, uh, advantage. advantage of you, for sure, I'm going to feel bad. But a lot of these people, I know for a fact, bro, they did it because they knew their career was going to, or they thought their career was going to go a Blow certain up. way, and it didn't go the way that they thought, and now they're regretting it, and they see that this is my chance to get my, like, my revenge. It doesn't matter if I look fucking horrible. Like, I'm going to get paid. Like, who's going to say anything mm. to a fucking millionaire? After I get paid Like yeah I suck that fool's dick And shit but That's fucking Well that's how they're playing Like that's how these fools Are coming out These fools are coming out Like oh yeah He made me do this He made me do that But at the time You probably thought like Hey like If I do this now Like I could be like At the top of Hollywood By the time I'm this age And it just didn't play out The way you did it Now you just see it Like as a "Ah, Maybe I could just Go get some bread now That like everyone's some, just going get at some him. clout or something. Not the clout, bro. Hey, I think everybody people know ain't no party like a Diddy party. So <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what's up. That was LeBron, yeah. That's LeBron, yo. <laughs> oh. the king. <laughs> that's your king. <laughs> a lot of shit, man. And yeah, it's insane, bro. He's and like <clears throat> I'm like I said, people have known what we. What was that clip of him at, on all that? Remember all that. Where they were like, could it be this? Steve Wynn's your feet. Oh, not that one, but listen to that one. Hey, Nick, hey, Diddy, you gone. He don't even know what's going on. You trying to say something, Azure? I'm trying to say something. What do you want to say? I don't know if I should, but I'm what? trying. Well, we drank a little bit. You drank a lot. Because <laughs> you drank that whole can of beer. Yeah, you drank that beer. You drank two shots of tequila. Yeah, right. You drank fired one Kuiper Rose. Let me say it, fired up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's your proof, right? Fired up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Your forehead is sweating like Uncle Leroy. Usher and P. It's hot as hell. It ain't that hot. Much more. Much more hot. Much more hot. Much more hot. <laughs> Everyone at this table. <laughs> it's hot as hell. It ain't that hot. Much more. Much more hot. Rest of my life. Mm. Mm. My favorite thing to eat. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying I like P. Diddy's pointing at P. Diddy's pointing at him <laughs> And he says my favorite thing is You can have No <laughs> Talk Plan Nah, the video that I'm talking about Is like On all that There's a video of Like some guy Like asleep on the couch And they're oh, His friends are trying to wake him up Nickelodeon show yeah. And his friends are trying to wake him up And they're like They call P. Diddy They're like I wonder I w- What would P. Diddy do? And they go up to him It's like Oh I, uh, I don't remember the exact thing that they poured on him, but it was, it was something like, like a big bucket of uh, jizz of white something consistency, bro. Oh, that shit looked like, it, and I'm sure was, he said like Elmer's glue or something like that. He's like pour it on their face and they'll wake up. Did that? It looked like a whole like cum shot. <laughs> Didn't wake up. They go to him. It's like, oh, put this helicopter down his pants. It's like a bunch of weird fucking yeah, Oh shit I don't know but <sighs> Shit like that is like People have known that Diddy is like that If they're comfortable with him doing shit like that I'm sure people have known you know Have you guys seen that uh, Nickelodeon documentary I haven't seen it yet I just but finished like it Like the Dan Schneider yeah. one Yeah how I was it fi- It's kind of It's interesting bro Like it's insane People People are always like How are the parents not there A lot of the t- like the whole situation with that, the main person that got touched was Drake, right? I think everyone's seen the Drake clip, right? Drake Bell? Yeah, Drake Bell mm-hmm. clip where he's like... He woke up and he was getting topped off. Well, he didn't say it was topped off. Yeah, he did. He said, imagine... He didn't say anything. He said, imagine the worst things possible that can nah, be done to nah, you. No, there's one clip where he says that he wakes up and that that fool was sucking his dick, bro. He, Bro, I watched the whole thing. He never said, oh my suck God. my dick. I, trust me, bro. I watched the clip. <laughs> And I watched the show And he didn't say He just said Imagine the worst things That could be done to you Yeah I know what clip You're talking about But I'm talking about A different one Alright bro You must have seen Something that I didn't see Yeah I, perhaps I did But yeah. yeah He said that he woke up And he was getting topped off And that was like Oh my god I'm sorry I'll never do this again Like it was a mistake I don't know what I was thinking And that was just a kid Like oh what the fuck Like maybe You know like You're fucking impressionable You see a fucking adult Like doing yeah. this shit to you And like yeah. Yeah, that shit's dark. Yeah, where were these? Where were these docs? It, the, the documentary is on uh, on HBO. Oh, I think HBO. Okay. Yeah, that's where I watched it. I didn't see the clip that he's talking about though. But that sounds. Oh, you look it up. It won't be too hard to find. I'll tell you that. Yeah, but I thought also like what were you gonna, there's what? another like at the beginning there's like a like a they they talk about these two ladies that were writers. 
and they they were being mistreated and shit. Honestly, I didn't feel bad for them. Like, you took the job knowing that you were going to get paid less. Like, you left and came back. Like, definitely shit that was going on is fucked up, and you were letting it happen in front of you, and, like, you're on this fucking documentary trying to, like, yeah, he treated me like shit, this and that. Like, bro, you were there because you wanted to be. Like, yeah, you could have, like, quit. Yeah, basically. you could have found another job. Like, yeah. The main thing that it, that he got sued by with those writers is that since there were two women, they were getting the salary of one man. And they were told that up front, like... Oh, okay. So And they took the job, so how am I yeah, supposed to yeah. feel bad for you? But then, the, like, the further you got into documentaries, like, the touching of the kids and shit, fucking weird. Like, Drake's dad, he was there. The guy that was touching him, like, convinced Drake that his dad was, like, a problem. Like, oh, like... People feel uncomfortable when your dad's on on like set. Like if you if you keep your dad as your manager, your career isn't gonna go very far. Type shit. Oh, shit. he manipulated him yeah, because yeah. he had he had a, he was a he was a fuck. What was it a tone actor like a vocal actor or something yeah. like that? And so like he's like I have, I've coached Leonardo DiCaprio like yeah. all these people. He's like you could be the next one, but your dad is getting in the in way. In the way for so real. So he like manipulated him into him thinking that oh shit my dad is fucking hindering my yeah. growth. And, and then his parents got a divorce through. and his mom got control of it. And his mom was the one that was like, oh, yeah. You she just, wasn't involved. Yeah, you could sleep over because yeah. he... Oh. It's funny, though, because when you're telling me that, like, when you're telling me about his Drake's dad and whatever, I'm thinking of Drake and Josh, like that guy <laughs> and then his mom. Because <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know what his real dad looks like. And but, you know what I realized yeah, yeah. through this documentary? All Nickelodeon shows were like the parents weren't present. We had the kids yeah. show. Yeah, but like in Hannah Montana and like Disney shows, the parents were always there. Like Cartoon Network, some of the shows, the parents were there. Like most yeah. of the Nickelodeon I, shows. I think like, parents should be allowed, like to like if if their kids are being like a part of like a, I don't know something like that, like a group, a extracurricular yeah. activity or whatever it is, a sport. Like parents, just like in sports, parents should be allowed to like be there. Yeah, you know well, what I'm saying. All I gotta say is that someone should check in on Leonardo DiCaprio because on that on the documentary. Like, uh, Drake's dad was like, yeah, bro, like, I've seen videos of how he was touching, like, Leo back in the day, and that's how he was touching Drake, like, on set. Like, when they were, like, talking, he would just, like, rub him down type shit. Oh, it shit. just looks so crazy. Well, there's a reason, like, why Leo is where he's at, you know? <laughs> Well, that goes back into the Diddy shit. That's all that Hollywood, like, what are you willing to sacrifice in order to fucking blow up, in order to break through? Yeah. That's why when I listen to, like... The new album, the new Diddy album, like, that shit gives me the same vibe. Like, what did these people do to be on here, you know? Yeah. Like that, yeah. All this Hollywood shit that's resurfacing. All this, all this, like, there's been so much shit ever since, like, the documentary and then the whole Diddy shit. Ever since all the, both those things came out, I feel like every time I fucking refresh my feed, there's, like, a new actor saying, like, oh, this person did this to me. Oh, this person did this to me. And how the Nickelodeon shit is getting rolled out is they're doing it, like, episodes, you know? Yeah. So every new episode is, like, a new fucking yeah. actor that's, like, oh, I got molested, too. And I'm, like, and damn. It's it's getting, like, things are getting, like, revealed, right? Yeah. And it's because... <laughs> Wait till the Disney version comes out, bro. <laughs> but now there's, like, it's because there's cameras. Yeah, they but they fucked imagine, Shia LaBeouf all the way up. So if, if it was that fucked, imagine how fucked up it was like before yeah. the cameras oh, dude, and you know all that shit you know what they said they said that they fucking like molested Shirley Temple you know that that little girl yeah, yeah. you guys know what little girl I'm mean? like in all her videos it's like her around like a bunch of grown men I, I believe it bro because and, like putting on her lap and like that was, yeah. kissing her on her cheek and shit mm. like it's weird they had her on yeah. TV like all dolled up as a fucking like six year old or yeah. a very young age wearing like tutus and shit like back then they wouldn't let their wives even Go the, out the house like that, and they're putting a little girl on TV like that. Come on, bro. When was this? Like how? This was black this? and gray. This is like oh, your parents. Shit. Parents used to watch if you were American type shit. You know, okay. our parents are Mexican, so they didn't watch yeah. that shit. But our yeah. parents, parents, and they just let shit. it rock. Like, but in hindsight, you look at it and you're like, hmm, that's the weird. Fuck, yeah. You know, like imagine if someone made a show like that today, a bunch, bunch of fucking old guys. Yeah, like, I don't. You know, but that canceled. ties back all into that shit. It's weird because like, <clears throat> I think this I is the new cancel culture. Yeah. Like, no, no, I don't think so. I because think because cancel culture is over. I feel. Nah. 
I don't think so. Cancel culture is not over for sure. You I don't, don't think, think so. so. People no. People are canceling Diddy right now as we speak. I don't think so. <laughs> you I don't think, think he's so. getting in trouble, but you like, don't think people are canceling Diddy. But uh, this is what I mean. But he's getting canceled for the sexual assault. Before it was you're getting canceled no for what shit. you're saying. Like now it's like oh we can't go after for people for saying shit anymore let's go after people that are actually doing shit you know like you can't get canceled for saying shit anymore it's all like well no you can if you say the right wrong thing i don't know i feel like comedians are saying what they well, want this, now. this is a, this is a way of uh a, like a person or industry getting canceled like based off something that they do yeah, yeah. yeah but i'm saying like this is the new version of like cancellation like it has so to what be, other like, version is there well, besides being can- spacey keep being canceled for saying something like Kanye West got canceled for saying something, not for in, doing anything physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Kevin so canceled. Spacey. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that. But he, that, Kevin Spacey actually molested people. But he's like coming back, kind of. No, he's not. I think he like, there was something like he, there was like an <laughs> Kevin AI. Kevin Spacey is not fucking There was like an back. AI thing that, there was like a commercial or something like that came out and it was him and he was like. But it's AI, bro. Kevin Spacey molested people. I don't think he's coming back. Who Who's the other guy? Again? Who's the other guy that, that molested um, the cards. Harvey, we- Harvey Weinstein? Wasn't he another one that molested a bunch of fucking people in order for them to get roles in Hollywood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't That's know. Another, yeah. So Disney hasn't gotten attacked yet, right? Nah, what if this was like uh, Disney, like Disney's doing right here? No way. Because Nickelodeon's their only competition, right? Nah, but Disney, when Disney's comes nah, Disney's out, cool. think Disney's about cool. it. Disney would never do that. Shit. No, 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 think no. about who they got on there. They no, both. They got Shia LaBeouf. They got Orlando Brown. That's going crazy. Saying did he get on the Ooshwash Goosewash? <laughs> <laughs> then he's you got Hannah Montana going crazy. You got Britney Spears came out of there. Yeah, you, you got a bunch of people out over there. What happened to Amanda Bynes? Remember Amanda Bynes? She was on Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon too. Nickelodeon. She went crazy, batshit crazy. She's not on documentary. She chose not to be on it for whatever reason. Um, fuck. Now it slipped my mind. Okay, now we're talking about Disney. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't you guys also... Uh, damn it, it slipped my mind. It slipped my fucking mind. About Disney? Yeah, well, you guys are talking about Disney... Orlando Brown, Orlando Squash Goose Brown. Wash. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you threw me off. <laughs> no, okay. I think to me it's just interesting to see because this is all shit that I heard about like in middle school, like on the YouTube page. That's like, what I was thinking all and, week. And, and, you, like, and you guys brought up Disney, right? Yeah. yeah. And then what I've been see, what I the first thing I saw about Disney was the cartoons. That one cartoon where they're like, oh, I, I kidnap little boys and I take them, whatever. Like that uh, was in the movie. And then they also say that there's Peter a bunch Pan? of and they also say that there's a bunch of hidden dicks in the bunch of Disney movies too I don't know if you guys have in seen the Little Mermaid yeah the no castle Mermaid. <clears throat> I so, think the castle I think at Disney in general <laughs> those fools are sick over there bro like yeah. so 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 now that I'm thinking about it oh yeah all, all, real, real, sorry, my, real quick before I forget the Disney is fucking creepy too because one of the guys that was at fucking Nickelodeon actually the guy that touched Drake after doing jail time like a year later they hired him to do Zack and Cody Oh, remember, remember, that? remember that show? I haven't seen one. Cole and what's the name? Cole and Sprouts. The Sweet yeah. Life of I've Zach only seen one of them. The other one's probably all fucked up. Yeah. Damn. Well. Or these vice people versa. don't care. They just want the best in the business. They don't care about your your past uh, and shit. Yeah, I don't. That's crazy. Oh, anyway, so so back to my point. So like all the conspiracies that I, that I've seen like in middle school on my YouTube era, like I feel like they're all coming true. For real, that's what I was thinking all week. I was like, no way. I used to think that the shit was all fucking fun and games, and now it's all fucking real. Like well, personally, the me, Illuminati I, I, shit. I believed it the whole time. Well, me too. But I like I would just tell myself like, there's no yeah, way this yeah, is real, yeah. you know. And now it's all just coming true and right before well, our eyes. Conspiracies are, are like really fun to believe in, you know, because you're like, oh, I knew there was more to this world and this and that. But like, also you could get painted like a fucking nut job, like immediately, you know? Yeah. So that's the only like thing about that. But I think that's well, also been a psyop from like the government. Yeah. It's like, 100%. oh, we're going to paint this and we're going to discredit conspiracy theories so that if anyone does come out with them, you're going to look like a total nut job. And then now you're shunned and now it's like public shame. But you, Shame you think, on you. you think the government just You're lets them get job. away with that shit like that though? Because it's like if you would think that the, if there's Depends some playing ball, if there's if there's some truth to it, they would kind of try to like stop it, right? Who's playing ball? And then like 
now that we see it, like like you said, we used to watch the videos as kids, and it's all becoming true. And then let that all be on the internet. Disney's the last one that I'm waiting for. That's another, what I'm saying, bro. Another one, one. Another one. Oh damn! I don't even want to see it. Just say it. Jay Z. They're saying Jay Z's next. Oh, you think he yeah. touches kids? No, there was there was kids. like there was like I a, heard about that. There was like a, a, a like a that. like a what do you call him? A not a, like a witch, like a fortune teller lady, and that she was saying that like she predicted the P Diddy thing on around Easter, and then she predicted Jay Z in in July. <laughs> so I don't know, but it's like another one, and, and Jay Z is another one of those where you would go down to YouTube and you'd be like, oh, The Rock, Illuminati, like that was one of the biggest ones. Yeah. Oh, if you play it in reverse, it says some satanic shit. Yeah, you know, like. <laughs> but like, I feel like as I get older, all the shit that people were like that we talked about as kids is like coming true. The whole oh, Hollywood yeah. elite, Bohemian Grove, all that shit. Fuck, Rihanna's really a sex slave for the Illuminati. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they make it, dude. That's, That's how a lot of Hollywood makes it. Didn't they say that Rihanna was like young when when Jay Z found her? Yeah. Probably. I think that's one of the things well, she, was, she was like Wasn't Chris Brown Like 18 19 at some point When they were, he was dating Rihanna Like they were young Yeah And then also Who was it They said that about Aaliyah Aaliyah was like 15 But yeah that was uh, What's his name And then R. R. Kelly They're saying that But I think Jay Z Was also with her too No Anyways, my point being is that all the shit that like people conspire about or like conspiracy theory, they throw it in that area. All that shit is like coming and it's be like it's becoming real. But why do you think they're coming after like the urban community only? Well, like I said, you can't play ball with us. You're not us. You think you're on that Jeffrey Epstein shit and you got dirt on all these politicians? Fuck no, you're not. You know, you don't have that much power. Like, I feel like it's almost like taking all the leverage that he had and taking it and stripping it from him. That's what I think is happening. Imagine, bro, yeah. who could have gone through those homes? Like, Obama, you know, Bill Clinton yeah. for sure went to a couple of Diddy parties. You, you, like, know, you know how they say that, um... What do they say? Come on, come on. Know, but, like but, I always say. Yeah, it seems like the elites are definitely like running oh, the shit. People oh. that are beyond like okay. celebrities. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going on. Like they're those are they're playing ball. This is their game. You know how um they they accuse Diddy of like human trafficking and all this shit. Well, you know when someone sues you, you can like settle and then after that they can't use that against you. But or like you have NDAs and stuff like that. But if you get raided by like Homeland Security, then like, th and you get subpoenaed, then they can use that evidence against you, okay. even though you already settled. So okay. I think that's a way of being like, hey, bro, like we have all this leverage on you. I know you have all that leverage. We need that. Give it over here. That's our shit. You know? Oh, because they killed oh, fucking Jeffrey oh, okay. Epstein. That's the play yeah. you think they're doing. Yeah, that's what I think because he's not arrested. If it was like some shit like that, he would have been in handcuffs. So, yeah. like you were saying, like it's like a slap on the wrist. Yeah, that yeah. He's getting. It's like showing them, like, hey, fool, what the fuck? Like, nah, you're not on our level, bro. Well, yeah. He's probably rolling with some rich people that are way, way richer than him. Probably. Because we see Diddy and we're like, oh, he hit a Billy. Fool, imagine. But even, like, think about it. Even if he does, does get convicted, what is he going to do at most 10? Like, the guy that fuck, got. The, I don't know about that. Bro, the guy that got fucking caught doing shit to Drake was putting shit up his ass, like oh, foreign dude. objects up his ass. Yeah, 16. Like, no, he got 16 like, months. 16 months. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah, that's Diddy with a billion dollars isn't going to be able to get no, ten and, years. And like, plus, if they do, like that guy will probably have it lavish, like like how Epstein has had it. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know how lavish it's, he had. His prisons hung. are are like it, owned, exactly. privately owned. If, and Diddy, stuff, so. if Diddy goes to jail, he'd go to like a. A fucking um, his homie probably owns the prison, like a government prison where like they get fucking ice cream for dessert at dinner time, bro. Like this is not no regular in there. Like uh, you run Crip Blood, homie, or this or that. It's yeah. like where where they put Ghislaine. Yeah, like that's oh, what yeah, she closet. like gets to run around and fucking like she got a whole turf for she's her and shit like she that. She probably has a closet full of top ramen, you know? Like yeah. she's chilling. She's probably bro. still getting head in there <laughs> for sure. I don't doubt that at all. Yeah, how come it's all, kids are always involved? I never understand what these people have all this power, have yeah. all the money, can have any girl they want. Well, adrenochrome. You think it's? The what I think that, that? Shit, I think that shit is What's real. That? What's that? Yeah, that fucking. They say that if you kill like a a newborn baby, 
since they're so scared, their fucking body releases this chemical into their blood and they drain that. And then if you drink that or if you Keeps consume them, that, yeah. then like you get really youthful right. because that molecule is just so strong. Wait, and there's potent. people out here killing babies for that shit. Oh, yeah. That's, that's you haven't, that yeah. You haven't that's heard like, that one? Yeah. That's no. the big like, one. Getting touch that's is a big just one. A, it's just like the tip of the iceberg, bro. It gets deeper and deeper. Wait, it gets there's crazy people really killing kids that. for this shit? What did Alex oh, Jones say? Dude. Alex Jones said reality is stranger than wait, fiction. So wait, they, this, it only comes from like humans. They can't get it from like a baby animal. Like why do we have to kill humans? Not sure. But look it up. Adrenochrome. It's probably a real thing. So that makes people want to fuck little kids? You think? No, 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 no. So he was asking a question that had to do with like that. Right. And Zandre mentioned like adren- adrenochrome, but it's like he along said, the same. Because he, he said, "What's up with like all these people and little kids?" You know, why? Yeah. Why, why is like all right, look kids it. get okay? Fun. Look it, look it. I typed in adrenochrome on Google, right? Like I haven't submitted it, and this is the top thing that comes up. Adrenochrome movie is one. Number two is adrenochrome for sale. Oh shit! You could probably get it on the dark web. Honestly, the adrenochrome only- patent. Adrenochrome injection. The only thing that I could imagine is like these guys just have a bunch of money and they've gone through for everything. Adrenochrome and like, for aging. What like they don't want to fuck an animal, so they go for a kid, and it's like, bro, what the fuck is your problem? That's what I imagine it, it is. Here right? we go. Like, I think the here we go. This is the uh, Wikipedia definition for adrenochrome. It's a chemical compound produced by the oxidation of adrenaline. It was subject of limited research from 1950s to 1970s as a potential cause of schizophrenia. While it has no current medical application, the derivative, whatever, is a hemostatic medication. So yeah, it's fucked up. It's a real thing. So they'll like what rape I'm saying. kids and they'll scare kids and the body will produce this chemical and they'll... If you kill them at the height of like their right. adrenaline rush. It's in their rush. blood still. So if you drink it, you like get the adrenochrome. So now we got to investigate bitches like it's J-Lo like for shit like this, bro. Because <laughs> Cause she be looking like she's 30. Brown don't frown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it gets deep. It gets really yeah, deep. Yeah. It gets scary. You That's know, insane. I mean, I they say that the that. the yeah. movie Monsters Inc. is all about that. Oh yeah, they oh, just really? replace. Well, yeah, they scare the kids and they get their fucking energy. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, uh, you never caught that. Uh, Were we talking about Disney just now? Yeah, but <laughs> I didn't. That. I didn't even know the <laughs> other the that. other thing. Now I could like if I would have known the other thing first, yeah. I would have been able to. Well, lucky it. for you, it's LSDP, bro. So no, last, the no facts. You said. <laughs> <laughs> you said one one reason could be f- because they've gone through everything, right? Yeah. I think maybe they use kids for guilt, so they'll like put kids in the uh, and use kids as like they'll tell them that they're eighteen, but they're really oh 18. that definitely happens. And they'll use them like oh I have a picture yeah. of you doing this thing. Well, she was eighteen. She was yeah. it's fine. Oh no, she wasn't. She was fourteen. She was actually fifteen. So no, kids, yeah, yeah. So black, and like, you busted a fat nut. Milk. No, yeah, that's like you're I dumb, feel, buddy. I feel like that's like. Obvious, like in, in blackmail. I meant like in general. How do people like? There's people out there that really go out there for little kids and shit. And oh, that for sure. It's, and it's usually like these these guys that are rich. They just have a shit ton of money. They fuck every girl they possibly can. Possibly fuck a girl with a dick, and they don't know what to do anymore. They don't want to go to an animal. This is what I imagine is happening to these people that are like up there. That everyone's like, why would they touch little kids? They have all the money in the world. Any girl would want to fuck them. Like, what's the explanation to this other than, yeah. like, you're sick, but what, does money make you sick? Because it seems like a lot of these people that are doing this shit, it, they're just, like, messed up in the head. They probably were raised No, what do they say? Off or what do know? they say about billionaires, bro? Once you have all the money to do anything in the fucking world, you get bored at a point. Yeah. I want to see some fucking people fight to the death in front of me type shit, you know? Well, I want to be in that, that black show? room and that Squid fucking game. dark web type shit. I want to be able to buy a fucking grenade straight to my fucking house, you know? They want all that shit. All the regular shit for us, it gets boring. I want to see f- some real shit. I want to see, you know, they're desensitized. Imagine and in their eyes, it's some sick shit. You buy a grenade to the house and the guy just tosses it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro, here's a grenade. You know? But I think it gets deep like that. I think that shit gets really real. Yeah, it's like you know, squid, like you know, Squid Games, like yeah, that's another thing. That, that's that's pretty much that. That's how they end up like doing what they yeah. do. But the thing is, it's not just that because there's even even just, that old guy got caught touching, like raping a girl or something like that. He got like some time for that shit too. The fucking old guy from Squid Games, oh. the real movie and shit. Yeah, the oh, real okay. actor. 
Yeah, you know, it just it's, yeah, it's consistent enough for it to be a real thing. You know, I think that's what makes it weird. You know, there's a whole subreddit group of people who think that. The fast, the fast chain <laughs> restaurants are like supplied by all the people that go missing a year. It's like 700,000 people go missing a year in and America what? alone. And they say that we're cannibals already because it's in the meat. That shit's not even real meat and shit. You oh, know, there's a whole shit. subreddit group of people that. That's crazy. Oh, okay, I see. I've who's, never heard that. Who's the actor? Johnny Depp or one of those guys? He was like, oh, this is a. This is uh, the next uh, product we're working on. It's a uh, worm protein. It's made out of bugs and this and that. I think they're hinting that we're running out of food. I think I think that's really what's happening. But I could be totally off. Well, but no, I, I think that's right. a, a big possibility because we're getting overpopulated. And then allegedly, Elon Musk says that we're underpopulated. So I don't know what to believe. If we're running out of food, that's probably why they're why they're making like fake meat. Fake meats and they're cloning yeah. pe- they're cloning animals at this point to make meat out of them. What a shitty life to live if you're just a cattle, like an animal in one of those oh, factories. Dude. All that shit's gruesome, like the animal oh, farming. Oh, that's I'm yeah, gonna that eat, my, I'm gonna eat my steak regardless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the fucked up part about. I got a ribeye waiting at home. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna stop eating meat. <sighs> Pause. Oh, no, <laughs> Diddy. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> Diddy yo. <laughs> Sounds like he wants some beat, yo. <laughs> I want that metro beat. I want that metro sound people want to cut starch um what's his name uh hip scott. boy sounds oh. uh scott storage like the sound was there and it was big if you play on time it sounds nothing like what the fuck you mean on time is literally almost like a fucking tropical fucking song and it sounds nothing like that trap shit that he made. It sounds everyday hustle doesn't sound like the intro. The yeah, intro the, doesn't sound mustard, like like that. Mustard songs don't outsell just because this the same artist is making or the same producer is making the beat doesn't mean they're all gonna sound okay, the same. Okay. I'm just saying he's stuck in the pocket. Everyone could say here, if, even if he didn't have a, a metro like <clears throat> Tag on it, you could probably and say that's a the beat tag. tag. The beat tag is not even the same. He has multiple beat tags. <laughs> multiple art uh, producers have multiple tags. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, if he put out a beat like pack out by himself, if anyone put out mean? a beat pack by itself, it's exactly. not going to do anything. So it, exactly. So but that's what producers say, are. It's hard to say. Oh, he's doing these numbers when the numbers are being done done by the artist on the. Project. I know what you mean. As someone who's worked with like an uh, exclusive producer, I know what you mean. The artist does a lot of the lifting, but you don't have a canvas without. No, it. I feel you, and that plays a part too. No, it plays yeah. a big part. You know, awesome. that's why producers take fifty percent of the world. Exactly, in and I've always cases. broken bread fifty percent because I feel the same exact way with the producers. That is, you know, I yeah. think that's just me though. That's I think what's me. going on let's, is great though because let's it's what hip hop needs. Yeah, for let, sure. yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's see how the album, how this next album sounds, and if it sounds all up in the pocket, I'd be like, oh, maybe Laz is right. But based on the new, the recent album, I'm not, I, I, I got to disagree. But that's it. That's it. But it's know? hard to like hate on the song that Future's on, like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, boy, is like, it hard. I mean, like, even that Kendrick song, like, to me, like, that I boy's said, got an ear. <laughs> Kendrick is, I like Kendrick, but mm. you, the this thing is cool to me, but you're going at my favorite artist. I'm sure if Drake was going at Kendrick, you're going to dissect the, the lyrics and you're going to think about everything else that was said and everything that hasn't been done. And it's just what it is, you know? I'm, I'm also waiting for a reply, whether it's today, whether it's a year from now. I want to know what's going to be said. Yeah, like I was hoping that he actually replied immediately, and then Kendrick replied to me. Because my thing is, I think Kendrick wouldn't have dropped like names and shit if he didn't already have like shit lined up. Like I think he's hoping he replies. Like reply, bitch. <laughs> you, you gonna find out? Reply, bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like and he's leading. I got a something trap. for you. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you gotta think of like I I don't know if we talked about this or not, but you gotta think about it. Like what is uh, Kendrick know Kendrick knows everything about Drake, but we know nothing about Kendrick. We only know what Kendrick tells us about. Kendrick. I, I think Drake's only way out is for him to go the Eminem route. I mean, like, 
I am, I am, I am a fucking bum. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a 12 story home when I was 10, and I did do the yeah. grassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, that's his only way out. You yeah, know, he's yeah. got to do some shit like that. Because you're <laughs> yeah. right. We don't know shit about Kendrick. You know, <laughs> yeah. he popped out with three kids out of nowhere. Yeah, we, you know? we knew that. He, we found out he had an alcoholic problem through his album. Like, right. We didn't know sh- shit about him. We only know what he knows. What he tells us, you know. Yeah. But everyone knows who fucking Drake's baby mama is and who mm. Drake is fucking and who who Drake was fucking in 2017 and all this shit. Smiley, right? What? <laughs> Smiley? <laughs> like, oh, not? Uh-huh. Kendrick? You know how they said that? They said that he was like smashing Smiley or Smiley had blackmail on him. So he was, There's no way he promoted him. <laughs> and it's uh, like... We better <laughs> oh. you, know you know when that song First yeah, came out You were like yeah. Wait whoa, what What's going on <laughs> Anyways You guys heard about Those Siamese twins Got married Oh, oh Like they're conjoint uh, Twins How do you think That works Like dude Bitch go to sleep no, I'm gonna one. fuck my Well listen man. Listen Someone asked them <laughs> Someone People kept asking These questions right Yeah And so they responded And it says Because everyone is asking We're just gonna tell you Yes, I have sex with my husband. Yes, I go down on him. Yes, my sister Brittany is there. Yes, my sister and I orgasm as one. But when I sleep with my husband, she's usually reading a book or listening to a true crime podcast. So she just puts on pleasure. So she just puts pleasure out of her mind. So is she the <laughs> Oh wait. Well played. Never mind. I was I'll be right say, there coming. If she's <laughs> Yeah. I was gonna say if she's listening to the podcast, aren't you listening to the podcast? But they both have a head. Their right? own head, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, that's insane. Like, yeah. I don't know if I could be reading a book and just feel that shit. Like, you know what? You're tripping. Like, yeah, I'm going to get this nut off, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. How long before... Fuck, how, yeah. How long before the guy is like... Or oh, dude, the guy's got to be a sicko. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. I was about to say, how long before Fuck, it comes yeah. out that the guy's a fucking weirdo? I'm sure there's a picture of them. No, I've seen I put that. that right, yeah. I put that right next to the guy who dates the the twenty three year old girl that looks like th- she's thirteen. Oh, I put those yeah. right next to yeah. each other. <laughs> they're twins, right? <laughs> they belong next to each other. Yeah, they're, they're twins. They're, yeah, Siamese what if, twins. What if you come on the wrong face? How could you? <laughs> well, she's on. She's on How the left, bro. Oh, that's like. Oh, that's like when you pee yeah, and then like hand. it comes out like three, like three ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens, bro. Wait, so what about when like the other one wants to get married? <laughs> oh, looks like we're all yeah. fucking tonight. Yeah. Fucking swingers, yo. Sorry, man. You gotta sit outside. It's my night. <laughs> <laughs> For real, whole dude. Car. What the Damn. hell? Damn. That's true. What's going to happen then, bro? What is going to happen? And if you Damn. guys orgasm together, how is only one of you guys like reacting to it? You know what I mean? There's no way you're not like... Oh, oh, and then what if the sister's like, fuck, she fucks him better than my man. I want to... Like, Damn. Is that considered cheating? There's too many questions, yeah. bro. But they both feel the fuck. orgasm at the same time, bro. That's weird. So can you be reading a book? It's the real question. They lying, bro. Probably not. I think she's capping. Yeah She's capping for some cock Are you cheating if the <laughs> other one comes And the other one doesn't Well they're both orgasm at the same ah, time Is what you what said you right so, Yeah But if the other one is orgasming is Oh she, that's true You made her orgasm So does the other sister get mad at her Mmm mm. These are the questions to ask why, why were you looking at my man not And not at your book <laughs> 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 What page were you on <laughs> How do you fight? Damn, bro. Huh? How do, do you it? Do yeah. Anything? How do they fight each other? Because I'm sure they feel Ooh. also like they punch each other's heads, but they're hitting Whoa. themselves. Oh wait, wait, here's a here's a here's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Good thing you're behind the camera, bro. <laughs> Chris is over there doing a head butt gesture. <laughs> he, he, sideways. That was like a giraffe. Here's like a good one. His here's neck here's a good one. Who gets to control where they go? Oh, who has control Wait, of the shit? Like, what is like? She says she does. She goes. She goes down on her man. Like, what if she's at an ink? Oh, that's so weird, bro. Like, you, I don't think you really heard me. Who controls where the <laughs> fuck they go? <laughs> who gets to decide? Who lifts the hand? Yeah, I'm driving today. I'm going here. Is it a threesome? Mm. I'm eating this. Is it automatic? It's two threesome? and a half, Damn. right? Two and a half. <laughs> Jesus. Two and a head. <laughs> yeah, it's like two point five. I'd say. If you got weed from our from our dealer when we were kids, probably like a one point five. <laughs> but it was a two point. It was dense. It was cool. dense. 
Oh, they, <laughs> the size means the <laughs> twins are dense for sure. <laughs> Wait, so we just fucking forgot about Ryan Garcia saying that he just saw a bunch of little kids get raped? Like, we just forgot about it? Didn't we talk about that already? No, no, we did, but I'm just saying, like, is, did, is that how quick we move past oh. things? Like, is that... This is why I say that people don't care about fucking people getting mad at you over net, some Netflix the shit. The thing is that he... Because people don't care about fucking little kids getting fucking handled. The thing is, just no, no, I, think, I think that, like, what happened with him is that he this was why I don't proven, believe in cancel culture. He was proven to be lying in that situation. How? That he didn't have proof. He said he had proof, and he didn't have proof. That's still a weird thing to say. I think you yeah, still but have to deal also, with those repercussions. If you're like, dude, what the fuck? Why are you just walking around saying this shit? If you're not really meaning it, the, you know. I think that's a weird thing to just so let someone the rip, get. What's the repercussions? Like if I come out, if I you should if go I, to jail for that. No, but you should get shunned. You should get socially fucking shunned. Like if that's something that you're just using for like a yeah, marketing for tool. A and shit. Like I don't think anyone should it's just be able to look. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. if you went to Ryan Garcia's that's comments weird, right now, they're not the best. That's like, some weirdo ass shit. I'm sure he is getting shunned. I mean. And if it's, and if we and if he comes out and he fights and he's normal and he's just like I want to thank God and he just goes back to being a normal fucking Ryan Garcia, nah, bro, nah. Then that's gonna he, be whack. Yeah, he better be ride or die you like know? to save those kids at yeah. this point, you know. Yeah, I think that's whack to use shit like yeah, that as a marketing yeah. strategy. That would be whack. That's just me yeah. though. At that point, yes, that is whack that you're using as a marketing strategy. Yeah, that's definitely whack of him. But fuck Ryan Garcia. I, I don't really get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought it was weird. I you know? do want to say so quick. congrats to fucking Pitbull Cruz though, because he just became a fucking champ, and I I thought that it was the coolest thing because the opponent that he had was like trolling him. He had made a whole like chain and put a chihuahua on it instead of a fucking pit bull because he's saying that he was a chihuahua. Motherfucker rocked his world in like the first round and finished him before the 12th. I think it was the eighth round that he fucking, that they stopped it. But yeah. And have you guys seen those videos of him like talking about like how his wife supports him and she stays at home with the kid? Oh yeah, very humble. He's straight like from a fucking like rancho and shit. Well, that's some some, like real Mexican shit. And it's crazy because I seen the video too like on I think Fool's Community. After the fight, he took him and his wife and his daughters they're at, at a pizza place just having pizza like yeah, regular, he just won regular. a fucking champion most of these guys Canelo is going to the fucking club popping bottles yeah. this fool's at a pizza place with his family uh, does, yeah, yeah. does she pack his lunch eh? probably bro she's <laughs> still there you know <laughs> well what do you guys think about uh you guys is man you, I know you guys are homies with Adam 22 he's coming out with his what? new gay I'm not sex scene with that guy what I, I think that's an <laughs> April gay, Fool's thing it's gay it's, sex scene he it's says it's April 1st and it's April Fool's it's gonna be sex cocks and all those things are I think he's been leading up to this because I, I saw a video oh you like, think that was fake yeah it's AI no 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 no, no. wait whoa, whoa, whoa. what are you talking about all those pictures about? what pictures all oh, the ones that he's with the guy yeah, yeah, yeah. no cause, cause well, they kind of look like remember like a couple a month ago or nah, so nah those are real you could make a, you can put a picture of yourself and it'll put you with like a cat you back in the 90s with like fucking rocker hair I don't know if you guys remember that well I would have believed it but the, the thing is that I don't know someone on, on TikTok uploaded they were driving down the street and they saw Adam 22 with this gay porn star yeah they drove by and they're like Adam what are you doing bro and then he was just like walking he's like oh fuck like the, the look on his face looked like oh shit I just got caught and that was probably like five days ago that yeah, I saw that but that's also like what well, I can't be friends with a gay guy like and yeah I, I, well I mean you could but now you're saying that you're about to smash him so how friendly can we get but it's also April Fool's Mm. Well, <laughs> like, and he's a fucking troll, bro. Well, I mean, it's, he's running out of time here. It's, it's damn near about <laughs> no, to be April like, 2nd. I don't know. I, regardless, <laughs> that's him. Like, I'm not going to judge him. Like, oh, no, but what do you guys think about it as, like, him being, like, I think he's trolling. Adam 22 from No Jumper, you know, like, he's letting people smash his wife. Who was it? Orlando? Uh, yeah, Orlando Bloom went pretty crazy on Brown. Because he, he, he called him out on it. He's like, no, wait, 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 no facts. Wait, Wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, bro. His first Adam 22 says, bro, like, hey, how do you feel? You know, the internet says that you're out of your mind. And then Orlando Bloom says. Brown. Orlando, Orlando Bloom Brown says. Yeah. Uh, then, he, oh, <laughs> then he says, well, yeah, I'm out of my mind in a good way. You're out of your mind in the way that you let people fuck your wife. And then he was like, oh, shit. Like, he kind of got him, you know? He's like, let me ask you something, Adam. Like, you still go home after and eat your your wife's pussy? And then he's like, bro, I just ate two pussies and an asshole this morning. He's like, no, 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 that's not what I'm asking you. After you let someone fuck your wife and she goes home, you still eat that? 
You know, like he goes at him because yeah, he's yeah. trying to call him crazy, he but he's like, he was I'm part crazy. Of Nickelodeon too. I'm crazy. You're fucking crazy, bro. What are you talking he's about? Part of Disney, know? Disney. So I thought that was a big, uh, you know, chess move type thing. Yeah, yeah that's so Raven. He was on that so Raven. He was yeah. uh, the guy. I don't know. Everyone on. tries to go at Adam, but like he's a smart market. It's marketing man. I, I right? think like. I, I don't think I would never do what he's doing. Oh, I was about to ask you because no, I would never do what he's Jesus. doing. But don't get any bright ideas. He's, he's in a he's in an open relationship. It looks like, and that seems like that's what they're both comfortable with. Like everyone's getting the yeah, they both like ju- fucking guys. <laughs> I guess yeah. I didn't say that. Yeah, I think like uh, I don't know, bro. It's it's up to him what he gets to what he wants to do and shit. Ah. Uh. Like damn it, I was trying to have some fun. No, yeah, yeah. we can have fun with this one. What do you think about uh, if you want to have fun with that group? Uh, (laughs) The Russia dude, Putin, trying to make a he put the LGBTQ as a terrorist group. He made him a terrorist group in Russia. Uh, I mean, depends. Does Putin know something that we don't? I know he said that this is a whole psyop. That this is the LGBTQ thing was a whole psyop. I know he says that, but he's putting him in a group of, with terrorists is crazy. Wouldn't you think? Well, it depends. So you know the word. He's not allowed. Now, it first, in first of country. all, first of all, before I proceed, I am all for same sex, same marriages. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it, whatever floats your boat. What you eat doesn't make me shit. I'm okay with all that. I'm okay. But does Putin know something about the agenda and where it stems from? Because if he does, that's probably what he's trying to prevent. Yeah. He's like, "Oh no, you're not about to sigh out my whole country." Well, isn't he the same guy that just put out a bunch of pictures of a, like a black Jesus? He didn't put out a whole bunch of pictures. He opened like some time capsule that hadn't been open in thousands of years or hundreds of years. I don't know. And he just happened to pull out an image of Jesus, and he happened to be black. But he didn't put him out. Like he opened like a time capsule allegedly. And he showed him to the world. Yeah. So he put out the pictures of like Jesus. Did he put him out or he did just reveal him? Is, you're saying like, uh, put him out kind of gives me a sense of like he manufactured this and, you know? Uh, I mean, I just meant it like he put it out into the world to see like. Well, I think he was being recorded live, wasn't he? Or I don't know. Anyways, yeah, he showed it. Jesus was black. Yeah. Do you think people are mad at that? Can you, do you think that, that could you, be set up at that's, all? That's been something that's been said. Jesus Jesus was from what, the Middle East or like where close was he from? to Egypt. He was, he was, yeah, he was from over there. How the fuck could he be? They, yeah. they, immortal Technique Ben said this, that they stole a whole religion, they painted it white, and they made it and they manufactured it for the American or the white audience. That's why. But Jesus was, wasn't he a Jewish? A Jew? He was a Jew, yeah. That's what they and say. He's like Middle Eastern or something, or he's like yeah, he was yeah. Is uh, yeah, bro. Like, of course he's not gonna be fucking a white guy that looks like Chad. Chad, like, what the fuck? I'm Jesus Get Christ. Of course I'm not a, a white guy. <laughs> yeah, you know. So I don't know who's really lying to us. I don't know. Yeah, could it be Putin? Is it our government? Who's lying? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. All I'm saying is that if he knows where the agenda stems from and what's its intention. Then that's probably why you could be like, oh no, you're not gonna about to do that to my country. I saw what you guys did over there. I saw you guys were letting all these little kids get operations without their parents and shit. No, you're not about to plant that seed here. But that's yeah, probably yeah. what I think he's coming from. I'm for same sex marriage. I'm for whoever you want to love. I'm for all that. I'm just saying that's probably what he's doing. I could be wrong though. Yeah. What do I know? You know. I mean, yeah that that's a good that's a good point though. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> you know, but that's just me. Yeah. So what, should we get into some questions or you got anything else? Mm, they might miss you something. Could a man change his stars? People in the back look like they're in a the rush. Oh, well, the good thing for them is that I'm Mexican, not Russian. <laughs> <laughs> get it? He says, yeah, we have a black Jesus and you guys have a what? Do Mexicans have a, a brown... A brown Jesus? Do Mexicans have a brown Jesus? Oh, yeah, our Jesus is white too. Have you guys ever seen those fucking videos or people put up pictures of Obi Wan Kenobi? Vicente was brown. Vicente was brown. Was brown. Vicente yeah, what? Boy. Fernandez. Yeah. Yeah. This guy. Oh, we're saying the Mexican version of our Jesus. No. He's yeah, Jesus. We literally that's what we call him. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. We literally took Jesus' name and just made it like Mexican. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's Jesus. But yeah, anyways, questions? Yeah, okay, questions. Let's see. Let's get into some questions from the fans. Uh, This fan wants to know, if you were born deaf, what language do you think in? 
If you were if you were born death, <laughs> what language do you think? Mind, that's a mind fuck. So you probably just mm. Mm. groans, <laughs> groans, different groans or grunts that you do. Like you just kind of. That's probably your only like link. Um, your only like connection to like sound, basically. So yeah. Well, you know. So I, grunts. That's what I think. Wait. What else would you like? If you're mute, you can't hear anything. Well, you probably... Communi- Vibrations. You probably communicate in a whole different way. Isn't that what Kanye West said? He says, sometimes I try to communicate and words get in the way. That's the thing. His head, like, he probably doesn't hear things in his head. He probably... Because you said he's deaf. The guy's deaf. Yeah, yeah. So well, how would you think, like, so if what you language? didn't... If yeah. you, no, there wouldn't be a language. No, Jesus, there'd be no language. Fucking imagine. My mind perfect. just took a screenshot. Huh? Well, I would imagine. They, don't they say if you lose one sense, others uh, like heighten? Yeah. So yeah. maybe vibrations and shit. Probably. Pause. Right. We gotta ask someone. Well, we'll come add. to the party and change your vibration. That's where the Diddy. That's next Diddy question. Said. Okay. Next question is: uh, What's the ideal age to move out of your parents' house? Never. When they kick you out. No, <laughs> Ideally, for real. So your parents tell you. It's well, like- you know, I had this conversation with one of my friends recently, and she was like, "Oh, I feel weird, you know, because like." Like, my dad, he got me, like, a new fucking whip, and, like, I'm working, but it's, like, not even that much money, and I'm, I'm like, no, why are you buying me this? I'm, I'm, but if your parents can, like, afford to keep you, like, situated, then you should loathe in that, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. it's only because, like, we live in America, and the average person doesn't make that much money that we're, like... I'm gonna go make my life harder. And you're like, yeah. hey, you gotta do this shit on your own, because, fool, we're all fucking in this shit together. But if you're in a situation where you have that fucking... You know, all That's, that. It's a very an Amer- American thought. I yeah. realized that too. Yeah, I know. In Italy, it's like they, their their homes are generally three generations, traditions, three generations in their yeah. household. Well, I think it's. In, I cut a bunch of different peoples like from across the world, and it seems like everyone seems to be like. I don't know why Americans seem to want to just push their kids out of their home. People, like you said, to separate from the family, they want to break. The, That's they want to break down the families. Yeah, in, Indians, they usually two, two or three generations. Mexican mm. seems to be the same way. Like, yeah, but, they, but but it's almost like you get shunned. Yeah, yeah, you get. It's like oh, frowned upon. Are broke. It's twelve of them in the fucking five bedroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's true though. But that's yeah, the yeah. American. That's an American blueprint. And like, that's and two per bedroom. What's wrong with that? Yeah, <laughs> and I've talked about that. Like before that, that's what like the intention is because that's an easier way for like the big four groups to get at you, which is like fast food, porn, um, social media. That's because all these things make money off of you. And the way that you're more susceptible is if they fucking put you in a position where you don't have a tribe, yeah. you don't have like all this foundation, you know, and it's now you're just alone against the people in the lab coats manufacturing all these things in order to market to you, advertise to you, get you yeah. in, reel you in, profit off of you, get you addicted, get you fat. It's like, it's a part of Jesus. the American blueprint, you know? Yeah. And that's what, and that's why... The, all these things are all like intertwined and correlated with each yeah. other. That's why we. Sh- that's why America is, yeah. is so individualistic because it's capitalism. Yeah. Personally, me, I don't think there's a right or wrong age to leave home. My dad always said, "Use me as much as you can because when I'm gone, I'm gone." You know, and my dad said, "I'll be back." <laughs> <laughs> now I feel you, Just but <laughs> <laughs> but I think most parents wouldn't mind if their kids most parents want their kids home yeah like if, if your mom could have it her way all yeah, of you guys yeah. would live there right exactly mm-hmm. like, yeah that's just definitely. how it is that's true so I agree with that there's no wrong or right answer it's just whatever your situation is really you know cool. next. okay next question uh, what do you do when your kids annoy you so I think that's more of like a parent question that was towards last. Or, or it could be siblings. It but depends. yeah, it's what do you there's do when your kids There's times that you blow up. There's times that you find something for them to do. It just depends in where you are, like, mentally in the day. 
Uh, have they been annoying all day? I can't, <laughs> been... I can't hit you here. We're at Walmart. Give them yeah. the iPad. Uh, honestly... Water boredom. <laughs> <laughs> water boredom. Water boredom. You know what that is? No. no. What is that? It, it's, That's like it's, when you put a cloth over their face <laughs> oh, and just put water. Just put water over it and they start like... like oh, it's like uh, a, a torture method. Yeah, like yeah. they can't breathe, you know? So it's like... Brad and Chris can't come around my kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> all right. Uh, what about you guys? What do you guys? How are you guys gonna deal with I, your guys? annoying, dude. It depends. iPad, yeah. probably the easiest thing. Oh, take probably away the, the technology. Thing. You know what I was thinking? A lot of people were like, or like give them a chore to do. Yeah, a lot of people are hey, against iPads, this. but people that don't give their kids iPads, I started thinking are like sending their kids behind because nah, a lot of schools are starting to give their kids fucking <clears throat> laptops and iPads to take notes and Bro, shit. Then what, ha- what happens? Two, three year olds know how to like hook onto the Wi Fi and shit. Hey, what happens when the solar flare hits? <laughs> well, that's on them, that's bro. Crazy. They stopped teaching us cursive when I was in school. Like I only uh, I only wrote cursive like the first two years and after that they yeah took but it you out don't of use curriculum. cursive in, in everyday life you can yeah. use literature exactly in everyday and life. guess what they made me do instead of cursive <clears throat> a typing class and now they're giving kids laptops to take notes instead of having them write because pen and paper seems to be too expensive to give people I think you should at least have, I think you so should have, it's easy to just supply a laptop I think you should at least have a foundation like no, yeah, a, yeah. a real physical foundation because when all shit goes like when everything goes to shit bro you still gotta be able to read and write and shit you should yeah. know how to and, use in, a pencil in the or real pen. world you know yeah. Yeah. what happens when we lose all the photos when we lose all the iCloud backups cloud, yeah. no, I feel that. how much physical me- memorability do you really have in the last 10 years that and, you still kind of keep and mo- most of the people that develop those apps for like the iPads and stuff they don't even let their own kids like On use them. that you know yeah. like no you gotta be at least 14 before you get yeah. an iPad or right. at least 16 before you get a social media because they know how addicting it is yeah. You know, so and they created it, bro, and yeah. like they don't even let their own kids use it. So yeah. what does that tell you about the product? Yeah, but that's the product. That's that. Like you don't let your kid use that app. Like my kids have iPads, but they don't have Instagrams, they don't have TikToks. Like obviously I those know, I, I, mean, I wouldn't let certain, I don't know, yo. That's what you're telling apps, me. There's certain apps. I don't you know, yo. My parents didn't know that I was fucking no, but <laughs> on the browser, no, yeah, but, uh, getting curious. No, yeah, but, but you also don't have like parental like guidance, and you need fucking to know a math problem to fucking play a certain video, and they they have things around this like. And my kids are at the age where I don't have to worry about them knowing fucking 12 times 32. The like kids, kids will figure it out. No, they will. But my kids aren't at that age. I'll go over that bridge when I'm over it. I'm just saying people like he just brought up a point of like, oh, they don't let their kids use the app. Like I don't let my kid use the app. I still that doesn't mean that my kid shouldn't like to me, they have iPads. And the way I think about it is th- the way this world is going is everyone's going to be on a tablet or something at some point. And you're probably holding... Because there's people that... Kids are 12. They've never had a phone. They've never had a iPad. And they're probably like fucking holding them back because at some point in their life, they're going to need to know how to use this shit. And the kid that knows how to use an iPad more than a kid that doesn't is going to go further in a class that it's necessary. In. It's all context. But yeah. also, if you try and hide an app, their friends' kids might yeah. have the app where they would just look at it. No, yeah, yeah. True. Anyways, I remember yeah. my one of my homies brought a Playboy in middle school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that, then we all got off the bus and we're like, whoo! <laughs> <laughs> you can't and like I'm aware that I can't shut the world yeah. from my kid you know like I could only do so much but you can at least show them that like what you tolerate yeah. and what you think is okay for them so that when they do do something bad they in yeah. the, at least in their conscience they're like oh shit I'm just, just yeah you're yeah. just setting boundaries you're yeah. giving them boundaries I'll rock, I'll rock with that alright All right. one more Next question, question. Or what? Hey, uh, last question is uh, how do you guys get by on a stressful day or what do you guys do to get by on a stressful day it just depends on the stress type. Yeah. Like, if it's a busy work day, I just fucking work, bro. If it's stressful, like, family-wise, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know what I do. I just fucking work. Oh, no, <laughs> you yeah. Know? Oh, no, yeah. I feel you. That's true. It just depends on the type of stress. Yeah. Because sometimes it's too stressful, too, where, like, you can't even uh, take a step back and, like, what I do is, like, try to count my blessings and stuff, you know, but... 
uh, when it's like stressful, you're not really thinking about that. So you just have to go through it, you know. As a man, you just gotta. That's just. What if you're a woman? Day. Oh, if you're, what if you're a woman listening to this and they and they want to really want what you to answer that? For a str- well, <clears throat> our answer doesn't here. matter. Our oh. answer is gonna sound ridiculous to them. We're gonna a- try to answer it logically, and they're not gonna. Mm. Oh. Like, they're not gonna get it. Monty, you heard it here first. It sounds like Monty on Instagram. Get get a <laughs> not <laughs> nah, okay. No, nah, I, I mean I guess. They're gonna sound stupid. Thank you. Thankfully <laughs> for me, I think I'm like at a point where like my patience has been tested like pretty pretty far. So when it gets like stressful like that, I'm really just that's when I'm the most patient. Like I'm just like fuck, you know. If you you kind of have to what, right? What, yeah. What's that? Uh, well, yeah. You're not gonna explode and no. Like, but there's yell people that do though. There's yeah. people that do explode yeah. and there's people that can't contain that because you know what's uh I mean I've probably said it before with Jet Li he's like oh I'd rather be a warrior in a garden than the gardener in war like I feel like <clears throat> and that's only because like I've been in like stress I used to be like a very impatient person get stressed out over a bunch of stupid shit and then you go through some real shit where you really got to be patient and then you're like oh. I was throwing the fit for no fucking reason. You know, this is where I should have applied that patience and shit like that. So, Mm. I don't know. I just think that patience is like the number one thing that gets me through like stress. Like a stressful day. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. You know, what's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going. (laughs) Yeah. It's true shit. Like I always say. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Anything else you you would like to ask us? No, that was it. That's it. 